Welcome to Electron Line, and here's our first example of how to graph a circle using the standard equation. Of course, the standard equation will look like follows. It will look like, uh, let's see, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared, which means we need to take this equation and make it look like that. Because ultimately, what you want to do is you want to find h, k, r, and then finally graph. So to find h, k, and r, and let me go ahead and it's better if I use capital letters it makes it a little bit easier to see H and K and differentiate between them so yes in order to find H and K and R you want to take this equation and put it into that general form of the circle all right that means we need to find the perfect squares of well you'll see in just a moment let's group the X's together let's group the Y's together put the constants on the other side so we end up with an X square minus 16 X and leave some space plus y squared plus 14y and then leave some space and that equals minus 32 by bringing the third two to the other side. Okay, how do we know it's a circle? Well, the coefficients from the x squared and the y squared are the same, so we know that's going to be a circle. So we want this to be a perfect square, so what you do is you take the coefficient of this, divide it by 2 and square it. So 16 well, minus 16, really divided by 2 is minus 8 squared, you get 64, so we're going to add 64 to the left side, which means we need to add 64 to the right side as well. We do the same over here, take half this coefficient, half of 14 is 7, squared you get 49, so we're going to add 49 here, that means we need to add 49 to the right side as well. All right. Now you notice that this is a perfect square. This is a perfect square. You could write them as two binomials squared. So this becomes x minus eight quantity squared plus y plus seven quantity squared is equal to, and the right side simplifies. Let's see, that's a plus 32 added to this. That would be plus 81. Okay, and then of course we can write this as r squared. So this can now be written as x minus eight quantity squared plus y plus 7 quantity squared is equal to 9 squared. And now we have this perfectly written like that, which means we can simply write off uh, or see right away that h is equal to 8, k is equal to minus 7, and r is equal to 9. And now we're ready to graph the circle. y-axis, there's your x-axis. First of all, the center of the circle is at 8 and minus 7. All right, so that's x for 8. Uh, x is equal to 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's my x equals 8, and y equals negative 7, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, right there, and where the two meet, right there is the center of the circle. All right, now the radius is 9, so let's label this as 8 and negative 7, Oop, there we go. and the radius is 9, so that means we come up two more, so one, two, that's over here, come up over one over here, so you can see that the circle kind of looks like this, come down here and all the way around like that, and up, there's our circle, kind of, all right, there's my center of the circle, the radius is nine all the way around, so that means that any point on the circle is exactly nine units away from the center, and since I had kind of a um, lack of board space down there. I didn't quite get it to be a circle, but close enough for us. And so that's how we go ahead and draw a circle. You get the equation, you put it into the standard form like this, then you can read off your h, your k, and your r, and then you go ahead and find the center of the circle, and then simply find the radius, and then draw the line around it so that every point on the circle is nine units away from the center in this case. And that's how we do that.